Alright, hey guys, this is Sarah's Knight, and I'm back with Let's Play Dread Out. Uh, hopefully this is kind of the last part. I mean, this isn't really a bad game, it's just, uh... Kind of getting to that point to where I want it to end. Even though it really hasn't seemed long at all so far. But anyway, here we go. Yeah, um... Quite a turn of events for our country a few nights ago. Still kind of reeling from that. We just elected that dude as our president. I don't know, I was tempted to drink there the first night when I uh, <laughs> heard the election in real time come to an end while I was at work that night, but I guess we'll live. I mean, no matter what anybody says, it could truly always be worse. Oh, yeah, that's right. The left bumper button was for running. Sorry, I I play this game, like, so uh, uh, sporadically that... Uh, oh. Okay. Looks like uh, we just ran straight into a battle with this one. Uh, by the way, where's my camera again? Did I lose it? No, I've got it. Whoa. Okay, so it looks like we're back in the school lobby here. Just wait for her to get in close, maybe? No. Okay, well... Maybe we're supposed to run away yet again. Perhaps. I do kind of like how the, um... The scenery kind of has a creepy red tint to it now. Kind of looks all silent hilly. And she... She put me down in four hits. And as a complete newbie at, the, at this game, that kind of worries me. I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll get a hint here on my way back. Okay, blue vignette. That's nothing new. Either that or she has a very tiny hit frame. We'll see after, I mean, the more I try, the more likely I am bound to find. You know what I hate is that she really doesn't have to get that close to me in order to pick me up by the hair. It's like, I don't know, she kind of has a little bit of reach on that that seems unnecessary. And see right there, it's almost like I'm magnetized to her by a certain point. Okay, so... Yahoo! Is it possible to go up the stairs here for anything? No, somehow, I am completely blocked off with this open space right here. Because of this, I don't know, snake body or something lying in the way. It kind of reminds me of Beetlejuice. You know that scene where he turns into the snake? And kind of like, he, and he was actually like disguising himself as the staircase railing. And somehow, Lydia's family like fell for it. They didn't notice until they were actually like feeling all over the, the railing. Like, hey... That's not wood. That's snakeskin. Okay, so... Phone's almost completely dead. Okay, we'll, uh... We'll give this one more shot, see if I can find anything. And then I'll look up how to defeat her. 
Which kind of worries me because really, uh, at the beginning of this LP, you know, in case I need to walk through the the series of videos, you know, that I was looking at was just it, it took me like ten minutes to find that one walkthrough, you know, and I, if I recall, it wasn't even complete. As in, I think it stopped at some point in Act Two, and it and it was it was already before this part, so. I don't know if there's really a complete walkthrough period on this game by now. I mean, this is pretty obscure, so I can see if there wouldn't be. I uh, no, I was just thinking for a minute, maybe there's something about the Iris phone that... Well, maybe there is something of interest that I have to take a picture of first. Okay, now there was a flash of light over at the door here. So let's take a look. No? There has to be something. If I am to fight her... Or... Well... What if... I don't know, the the light that kind of flashes uh, on that wall over there, you saw it just now. That's got to mean something. I'm very intrigued by that. Maybe it's the only time in which I'm allowed to escape or something? So I kind of have to be there waiting, but then we got this chick. I mean, I can't keep an eye on her and the door at the same time. And I hear a staticky noise too. It just kind of gives me the impression of a of an event over here that Aha. Okay. I have no idea where I'm at now. I don't know, every time I see this woman, I keep thinking that... Oh, okay, now I've got her. Or she's got me. Okay, I was about to say, I thought that for like the billionth time, it was going to send me somewhere else to escape from her. I mean, that would be like the third time in this game. And oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Linda is almost thigh deep in maggots. Okay, I am really low on health. I really hope I don't have to do this over. <laughs> Neither she's still around. Aha! There you are. Okay, well I figured as much time as I spent running around, she would have attacked me before then. And now we have, like, a ghostly image of the snake bodies or something that was blocking me off from the staircases on either side of the lobby before. And somehow, this tiny waterfall of Magus does not actually move downward. Like the laws of physics say they should. Okay, doorway is now unlocked. Let us proceed wherever the hell we are. Okay, you really expect me to jump off into the distance here? Sure. Or I can just walk on an invisible path like in uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Okay, it looks like over time Linda has gained some health back because the screen's not gray anymore. Aha! There you are. 
Okay, so when I have the camera raised, I am still... I'm like in the normal... I think I'm still in the school building. Looks like it. Oh! And then there seems to be like a skeletal dinosaur neck somewhere up above here. I honestly don't know what the significance of all the scenery is. Okay, do I just keep taking pictures of her or what? Or maybe I go through this open door right here, which I wouldn't really be able to see. If I wasn't looking through the lens. Okay, well now that she's stunned for a second. Or is this a door? No, I think this is a wall. Okay, she was going to try to catch me around a pillar there. Oh no, I did go through a doorway. Now I'm in a separate room. Okay, well this is a complicated little challenge. I kind of have to keep her off at bay while I take the time to look and see where I venture to. Okay, let's try running through here. Okay, did I backtrack just now? I don't know, the laugh really isn't so creepy as it is annoying after a while. Who is this woman, anyway? I just know her as the lady in red. Okay, I'm gonna try to, like, kind of back through this doorway right here. Well, I seem to be doing okay. Alright, yeah. Like, big dinosaur skull right here. I just took a picture of something inconsequential. Everything is black and she is laughing right in my face. Okay, I'm not able to control Linda right here. I mean, I just let her walk right up to me. Okay, now I'm in this limbo place with the ghost. Who are you? What has been your beef with me throughout the entire game, lady? Kind of like her nails. Okay, now we're staying in front of a big giant mouth with an eyeball. The shadow, whatever that is. She says it's coming. And all I can do right now is look around. Linda is changing somehow. I don't know if Linda did that. Okay, I press the attack button and instead of like shooting the camera, I chain her down, kinda? I'm casting magical chains at her. I would love to exercise you, lady. I would love to get you out of my life right now. Okay, uh, please don't stab me through the hand with those long nails. That's probably going to be painful. Are 
Are you, like, gonna take me by the hand on a journey into the netherworld through that giant mouth? That's bound by chains for some reason? Okay, she's talking in some kind of witchy language, but at least we have subtitles. I honestly don't know if this is supposed to be the final battle in the game or not. Okay, total darkness, voices everywhere, Linda wakes up. Uh, I think we're back in the f school foyer, that's good. It looks normal. Oh, and there's uh, Cisco. And she's kind of casually flipping her hair at me like... Are you possessed? And she has little infant arms coming out of the backpack. Or bag of whatever that is that she's carrying. Snake tentacles instead of hands, never mind. I'd sure like to know what it was that Cisco whispered in my ear, and I think I just maybe came upon the bad ending or something. because I'm vomiting up maggots and I'm left here to die. Huh. I guess that is that. Oh, this music. Come on. Well, I got two achievements, Dread Out True Experience, and the end is the beginning is the end. Well, I'm glad they didn't go much further than that after all the crazy talk that one was saying. It sounded like they were going into maybe some kind of metaphysical Ouroboros, endless cycle of life and death, rebirth, uh, bullshit. Okay, so, I mean, I'm just going to take a stab at this. When I predicted... Or, or wondered, I mean, it was kind of half-jokingly. When I wondered if, um... Uh, my choice with Ira, uh, in the last video, or I think it was at the end of Part 5, um, when I was talking with her and I said, like, she's not real. I'm wondering if, um, it is true then that when I made that choice it was, like, a bad one that would lead to this ending. So, I don't know. I'll look it up and see if there's anything, if this game plays out any differently. If I, if I go along with Ira and say that, yeah, I believe you, that, that you're her. Well, that was a short little game, and honestly, nothing really tied together for me. I mean, to be fair, I don't really... Oh god, I thought for a second uh, where, where it says uh, Yayan, you know, the one I jokingly called Yanni, because I hated saying his, his name correctly, Yayan. Uh, his voice actor, uh, I thought that said Justin Bieber there for a second, I was like, wow, that was him? Well, he was annoying, so I guess it fits. Yeah, speaking of that, we didn't... I don't think we even saw Yayan again after the... after I lost everybody in the school at the beginning of Act 1. He never showed back up. And, I mean, again, like I was about to say before, to be fair, this is my first time through the game, and I really have... I mean, it's really kind of hard to know what's going on sometimes your first playthrough in a game, and it felt like nothing really tied together. I mean, best I can think of is, you know, this was kind of basically started out the way Fatal Frame 
uh, it seems to in all three of the game in all three of the Fatal Frame games that I played. You know, wherever the heroine stumbles into that location, it was the home or the village of you know people who a group of people who previously lived there. They were very religious in ways and. You know, they had a lot of rituals and stuff like that. And one day, you know, like their, you know, the, just their kind of dark rituals of murder and suicide, sacrifice, all that kind of stuff went wrong. And now there's ghosts wandering everywhere. So I kind of, I kind of have to revisit history <laughs> of the place that I stumble into in, in, in the time that the game actually takes place. So, I mean, that was pretty much something here in the, in this abandoned village in the, in the school, but... I, I don't know for sure if if that lady, the lady in red, is the head of it all somehow. She's the one with the most anger and hate in her soul, so I have to defeat her of all people to make everything right, and I guess I failed too. I don't know. And she's saying, well, maybe you can birth a new god or something to save our village, and she left me to die with the maggots you know, being vomited out of my mouth because Linda was about to die giving birth to this savior or something. Or Cisco, uh, now possessed by the Lady in Red, maybe maybe that's maybe that's what was going on in that last scene where Cisco just walks away from me after whispering something into my ear that I couldn't hear. I mean, uh, I as the gamer couldn't hear it or see the words she was saying. She, I guess she was walking away with a rebirth, whatever. <laughs> That's supposed to make everything kind of happen all over again. That would that that went wrong with this with this place, the the setting of this game. I don't know. I can't really say it's a good story, but again, I probably missed a lot of things. I just didn't catch on. I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. still easier to understand than Parasite E3. Hey, I mean, let's give it that much credit. <laughs> or Final Fantasy XIII, at least my first playthrough. I mean, I kind of had to... My first and only playthrough of that shitty game with its horrible story. I mean, it took, a, it basically took uh, Lantis's, you know, telling me all about it and Spoonie's review of it a few years ago of FF13 to help me understand what was going on there. So yeah, now I know more about FF13 story than I do this game, but that's not really saying a lot. That's not really an insult against this game story because I had to have it explained to me by two different people, basically, in order to understand it. And this was just my first time through the game, and I have a feeling you don't really get everything that you're supposed to. You don't really... Maybe you're supposed to play it multiple times, or there was more to explore and I just missed all of it. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, of course this is definitely inferior to Fatal Frame, but I expected that. I mean, this is an obvious knockoff. So, I mean, there's probably other games like this and Fatal Frame that are out there. I just don't know it because they're so obscure. And I never really ventured into seeing if there's like a whole niche market out there for survival horror games where you specifically fight with a camera. I mean, Fatal Frame probably isn't the only one of its kind. I mean, but it might have started it all, if there is if there is actually a kind of a category of games out there like so specific as that. I mean, the controls were pretty good. Uh, better than I expected, I think. I... I like Linda, even though there's not much characterization, but I can see why there's not really need for much of it. You know, other than you know, she's on a trip with her, with her school chums. I mean, I guess she's in high school, and she stumbles into this situation. Now she gets out. And loses a lot of her friends that she arrived here with along the way. As far as I know, Cisco's the only one who's still alive. We never saw Yagin again, which I have a feeling we could have. And I probably missed it by accident. Or I don't know, did I see him? Uh, somebody, like, in comments below, tell me if I did, and I'm just not remembering the last uh, video. <laughs> I I'm sure he was mentioned by... I remember him being mentioned by Cisco and, um, and Shelly when I left him last time, you know, where Cisco was kind of injured, so Shelly just stayed in that 
run down a uh, nursing ward with her while I went on to uh, chase after Ira. They mentioned that they were they hoped he was okay, but of course I, I but I don't remember seeing him after that. Maybe I did. I mean it was again this first time through the game. It's hard to remember stuff when you don't see it multiple times and kind of kind of get photographic memory in your mind after after being exposed to it enough. I mean, it was just a couple of weeks ago when I did the last part of this LP, so I don't know. Maybe I did see him, and he turned up dead. Whatever. I don't know what the three sisters were about. Maybe the lady in red was one of them. And maybe I... It's possible I wasn't even seeing the same lady in red the whole every time I fought her. Maybe, maybe like it was a sister each time. I think I've had three encounters with her total uh, one at the end of act one in the school that might have been an encounter with just one sister uh, th those three sisters in the mansion you know in the last video that I read up a little bit on um, that might have been one of them and I just kind of I kind of had to escape through the door and that and through the front door and that was the end of act two after finding my way back to the foyer twice and then maybe the second one was when I uh, fought her again and had and had to and actually had to uh, game over intentionally after fighting like that hanging creepy doll version of the goddess in the sky, and then I guess the third time I guess the third person might have been the third sister might have been the one that I actually fought to the finish at the end just now. I don't know. There's a lot I don't understand, but again, I'm willing to believe that. You know, there there was a lot to it that I just missed, and it's it's easy too that the story isn't you know actually truly this bad and you know like obscure, uh, vague, hazy. You know what I'm trying to say. So I mean, hey, for five bucks, this was worth it. I just happened to see it on Steam, and I'm like, hey, that looks like a kind of a game that plays much like Fatal Frame, so. Also uh, got another achievement just now. Move along, nothing to see. I don't know what the details of that are because we're still in the middle of the credits. So what did I do? It seemed like an awfully long set of credits for such a short game. I mean, I could see, like, one guy making this all by himself within a year if he devoted all his time to it. Do you even need, like, a professional team for something like this? Actually, I don't even know if this is indie game or not. Or if it's just by some maybe professional developer that was just starting out. I mean, I see a lot of people in the credits, so obviously, hey, more than one person made it, but... I don't know what to say about this ending song, really. Okay, I can swear I just saw this set of credits go by earlier. Does it loop? <laughs> oh, there's, um... There's a dedication to The Office Boy, as well as, you know, voiceovers, script localization, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Office boy, I'm not sure what that means. Additional Italian translation, simplified Chinese localization, Indonesian voiceover, Indonesian voiceover talent, ghost voices. I don't know, there's something I'd actually like to see the credits on. You guys suck, quite frankly. I want to tell you that. Okay, Dread Out soundtrack. Oh, so they're naming all the tracks. I mean, that's nice. They're called Lucky Me, Suramu Murdu, Belur, Gloomy Sunday. Oh, I kind of like that title. Land of the Living Dead, Don Sinta Kita Terlupakan. Hey, which of these was like uh, the crappy, uh, like grunge rock songs like like we're hearing right now 
Takut, exclusively written for Dread Out. Special thanks, the Dark One, Angel of Darkness. Wait, who are all, who are all these things? Heart of Darkness? Are we still in the names of like sound, uh, like tracks in in this game's music? I don't guess. just keeps going now it's just kind of like hanging on a note and fading off I guess but it'll probably be another five to six minutes before I don't know what's the difference. I, I've seen like the last three headings in the credits were for Damned Soul, Dread Soul, and Tortured Soul. What's the difference between them? Are these the names of enemies? And we actually had like this many people doing the work on them, like modeling them, voices, all that stuff? Is that what this is saying? I'll admit, maybe I'm just an idiot who doesn't understand how credits work. the piano playing out here. Okay, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. I'm wondering if there's actually still music in the background. No? Pretty silent. And yet the credits just keep going. Either the song just looped or it wasn't over. You know what? I probably could have done that a long time ago. <laughs> just pressed X and got out of here. Okay, so Linda's back. Um, I don't know if this is a possible alternate ending or if she actually survived throwing up all that all those maggots in the ending scene. There's a ghost uh, kind of just hanging out on top of somebody's head who was just sitting down. I think he was bald. Homeless guy. Coming up behind me. I don't know, maybe Linda's just cursed with seeing ghosts all the time or something. Even uh, even though she's back home, or whatever town that is, maybe that's what it's saying. She's just cursed with seeing uh, ghosts everywhere now. I don't know, but anyway, guys, this was interesting, I suppose. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and next time I will probably, uh, you know, until I just get a new computer thrown together. This one's almost a decade old, so. I think it's time and I have the money saved for it. Uh, until then, when I can start doing um, LPs that involve video capture again and hopefully learn... Um, hopefully learn uh, actual, you know, uh, 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 movie making program that's uh, current with technology. I I'm definitely using the basics right now. You know, and I can do all the LPs associated with them. I'll uh, keep on doing, until then, I'll keep on doing uh, games in Steam, and uh, next time I'll, uh, I'm thinking about doing uh, Bioshock 2, since that's uh, one of my favorite survival horror games of all time, just to take a run through that, and there are others I can think of, I'm I'm sure, but anyway, again, thanks for watching, and I'll I'll see you next time in a couple of weeks. Later. <laughs> uh, actually, guys, right quick, uh, I didn't, I didn't think of this until after the fact, so I just thought I'd add this little addendum right quick. Um, 
you know, I was I was seeing achievements pop up, and of course on games like this, you can imagine that you're gonna get a, you're probably gonna get the greater majority majority of possible achievements for a game like just on your first playthrough without doing anything extra. But yeah, I I was kind of wanting some of these explained, so I thought I'd look them up. After um, you can't see it. You, you can't see it right here, uh, in um. In the video, but I, I'm in the I'm in the Steam library right now, uh, watching seeing the achievements. Here's a, uh, we have a Are We Dead Yet? <laughs> Which I that was the first one I got. Um, it was just from, it was just from gaming over, you know, at all. Like the first time you enter into that limbo place. Where you're trying to run back towards the light, uh, there was Witching Hour, which I don't think I brought that up when it when it came up, but I was confused by that. And it was the fact that I was playing the game on a Thursday night. That's what it was about. Flashes before your eyes. I took a picture of a ghost, so of course you're gonna do that no matter what. I scan dead people. <laughs> um, you stay scanning for ghosts. I, I don't know what that's about. Uh, hashtag cat, hashtag cute, hashtag funny, hashtag lol, I took a picture of the cat. <laughs> um, all planets perfectly aligned, that means I solved a puzzle, big freaking deal. The move along nothing to see, which was the last thing I found, um, there's just a message underneath that that says thank you. So I guess uh, the, this, the developers are thanking me for actually bothering to watch the credits. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's nice that they're tickled pink by that. Director's Cut defeated the school principal's ghost, uh, the guy with the scissors. Back to school, I got trapped alone. I guess when I first entered in there and all my friends disappeared at the beginning of Act 1. Tomb Raider, I collected all articles. So I actually did find all articles in the game. I'm really surprised. I figured there had to be at least a few I would that would be well hidden and I wouldn't I wouldn't find them unless I really actively tried to the dread out true experience I endured all scary moments on dread out so far uh, endured all the scary moments um and so far I mean I, I don't even remember when that achievement came up it said it happened on November 14th but that was me playing just now today is the 14th so whatever um, Tomb Riddler solved all puzzles. Wait, didn't I? Wasn't there already an achievement for that? It was called something different, I think, but... The Tomb Raider, oh, collected all articles. But no, wasn't there one for solving all the puzzles? Oh, solved a puzzle, okay. Tomb Riddler solved all puzzles. Uh, school's out, left the school. Power up, collected all special items. What special items? Uh, you mean like that Jinglo statue and the ring and stuff like that? Uh, I guess. Teenage photographer, I acquired the camera. Rest in peace, I s rest in pieces, I solved the graveyard puzzle. Stay a while and listen, I listen to Cisco's story. Is that goodbye? I deal with Susie. Who's Susie? Oh, I think, um... Yeah, I, I missed uh, reading a article. Uh, I mean, an achievement up here. There was one called a BFF where I took a picture of Shakira Irawati. Okay, so no, that's not that's not Ira. But I assume that Shakira Irawati, Ira was actually like a shorthand for her last name, and maybe her first name was actually Shakira this whole time. I, I, I otherwise I don't know who that is. But. As for stay a while, um, it, as for is that goodbye, I, deal, I dealt with Susie. I, I don't know. I don't know who that is. I don't remember. Woman in the mirror, I found the secret of the mansion. <laughs> yeah, speak for yourself. I, as the gamer, totally did not discover the secret of the mansion, or at least I don't remember it. The end is the beginning is the end. I finished the game. We're a happy family. Banished many Pekongs in a single shot. Get ahead, I took a picture of uh, Gundel Pringus. I don't remember who that is. I, I remember it was in my Ghostpedia, but as to which one that actually was, I don't remember. Sweet child of mine, solve the mystery of the crying widow. Don't remember that. Sorry. 
and hashtag InstaFood and hashtag foodism, hashtag food porn. And the only message is the tongue being stuck out emoticon. No idea. Uh, <laughs> as to one, as to the ones I missed, I got over half of them. We have Ghost Rider took a picture of Pekong on a motorcycle. Huh. I don't remember seeing that, but that must have been pretty awesome. They come in peace. I took a picture of UFOs. Attack on Titan. I took a picture of Genderuo. I don't remember which ghost that was. Stay hungry. I took a picture of Sadel Belong at the school cafeteria. Oh, that must have been the one where she was um, where she was drinking a lot of sake or something, and then disappeared and belched. <laughs> like she left behind this outrageous, bleh, kind of vibrated the entire school. Cloud connected. Added any picture to the gallery. Nah, who cares? Book of the Dead. I collected all the ghost pictures. Betsy and friends. I took a picture of Betsy. I don't remember who that is. Inner Beauty, I took a picture of Palisic. Don't remember who that is. Wrong turn, I reached an alternate ending. Oh, so did I get, like, the normal ending that I was normally supposed to get? I don't know, I guess it's... I mean, it suggested that Linda was still alive, albeit with kind of a... Kind of a... Kind of a curse on her where she's forced to see, like, the ghosts of everybody hanging over the living person from now on. I don't know. Take it easy, playing Dread Out with convenience. My way or the highway, playing Dread Out without any clues. Call me maybe. <laughs> uh, the name of a crappy pop, pop song by uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. Playing Dread Out, oh, I'm sorry, call me maybe, dial the correct number. Oh, what, when was that? Cat attack, it's a cute way to die. Okay, I guess maybe you can actually piss off the cat and it attack you and kill you. Um, let it go. Resistance is futile against the hand of fate. And the last hit achievement is hidden, so the only de you know the only time details are revealed is when I unlocked it. Okay, whatever. Um, that's interesting, I guess. But yeah, this is pretty much uh, never gonna play this game again. Really, no need to. But again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next LP, whatever that game may be. Later.